Welcome. Zinc is a trace mineral. It's a mineral that saves millions of lives. We can see what's happening with COVID, that the majority of people who have COVID or have weakness within their immune systems are all low in zinc. It is an essential mineral. That means that the body cannot make it on its own. We must take it in from a food or a vitamin. But zinc has very unique antioxidant properties. It's involved in over 100 enzymes and has a wide range of critical functions in the body. And these include cellular metabolism, protein synthesis, creation of DNA, immune function, vision, and your sense of taste and smell, to just name a few. We know that when we get this common cold, we feel like we're being run down. We've always been taught that vitamin C is the answer, but you can't compare it to zinc. That's how powerful it is. It has a direct effect on the immune system by kicking up the white blood cells. This will actually combat viruses as well as bacteria. And what makes zinc very unique is that it helps produce many of the hormones, including insulin. And this is really exciting. So if you are insulin resistant, borderline diabetic or even diabetic, if you bump up your zinc, you'll be amazed because it has a direct influence on insulin. And that's what gets the glucose into the cells of your body to keep you strong and healthy. And what about your cardiovascular system, your heart, your blood vessels? Zinc fights inflammation and oxidation. It will keep your cardiovascular system healthy. Zinc helps the layer of the cells that coats your blood vessels. This protects your skin of your arteries and your veins. What about the millions of people who lost their smell, the olfactory nerve, from COVID? By increasing zinc, this can reverse it. What's interesting is that they did studies. And those studies showed that males that lost their sense of smell noticed changes in their libido because zinc has a direct influence with your libido. Now, foods that are high in zinc are your oysters, crab, lobster, red meat, whole grains, especially oats poultry, pork, beans, nuts, pumpkin seeds, dairy, like milk, cheese, as well as other fortified breakfast cereals. Now, the recommended daily intake of zinc is only about 15 milligrams, although most nutrients you'll see that are sold online or in your health food store have anywhere from 20 to 50 milligrams. By taking a little more, I believe that you're going to get better results because of the fact that we could be losing zinc from stress as well as medications that you might be taking. Now, zinc comes in different forms. The more easily absorbed forms of zinc are zinc picolinate, zinc citrate, zinc acetate, zinc gluconate, and zinc glycerate. So when it comes to the immune system, and by the way, as well as acne, zinc picolinate seems to be the winner. Although the citrates are good as well as gluconates, you'll see a lot of the zinc gluconates in different formulations as well, which is still good. If you take zinc, preferably it's better to take it maybe an hour before or an hour after, although zinc can sometimes aggravate your stomach. But if you can take it away from bran and fiber filled foods, calcium, phosphorus, copper, as well as iron, you'll get much better results. So here's the bottom line. Zinc is involved with our hormones, as well as over a hundred different metabolic factors. Zinc is so important to bumping up that immune system to keep you healthy, and it will. So make sure you're getting it from your foods or your nutrients, and your body will be so much healthier. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family. Most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.